So in this video, I'll be walking through on how to actually set up login page as well. So as you can see in our previous videos, we have already covered on how to sign up a user. And once sign up, a user will be able to create an account in your platform and that particular user's data will be able to be accessible from your Superbase database as well. So in this part of the video, I'll be continuing on how to log in that particular person. So before logging in that person, we must be creating a form, the form that actually will be able to to log the user in so let's create that so of course we need to be separating this page from this sign up page to a login page so in this we need to set up a new folder we're going to be creating a new folder under source and i'll have to call the folder to be named pages and inside pages will be happen we'll be having our first page our first page which is sign up page sign up .jsx. and we also need to have uh, login .jsx okay and this are the two main pages that we will be using so let's copy whatever that we have did inside our app.jsx file so let's copy. let's select everything and copy and go to sign up page this basically whatever we have just copied and just need to ch change this instead of app pages change it to sign up okay and also you need to change the export function here and also need to change this particular request here so we need to just need to add another dot here to make it able to and there you go right now we already have our sign up page here the next thing we need to save this page and let's go to our app.jsx and let's uh, let's remove everything and just we're just going to say rafce and in this case i'll have to import our first page which is okay we need to go back to our pages here we need to creating a index.js file and in this index.js is where we're going to be we need to be we need to be exporting login page and sign up page so in this case let's say import login from dot slash login let's do the same thing for sign up here in this case instead of login i like to say sign up okay something like this and of course once you have imported we also need to make it export like this and inside export here you just need to name this to just need to call this to whatever we have just placed it here so login and as well as sign up so as you can see this two you need to be able to once you are able to do export both of them now you're able to access this in, in your app.js and let's go back to app.jsx and now right now we are able to import both of these pages so like this you need to have a sign up page also like this is coming from pages also login page and something like this so this is how we are able to do as you can see you don't have anything in your pages or so you need to be saving everything save all and there you go right now we had an effort here let's go back and go to our console and in our console it says pages index which does not provide an export name login so we need to be fixing that thing first let's go back to our index.js and as you can see there's it says there's no export name called login so let's go to login here in this case we also need to put array fce like this and right now we are able to, to see that this is working perfectly fine let's make, click on save all and there you go right now you're able to see your app.jsx is working so this is the how it should be and the first thing you need to call is we need to be able to uh, call is sign up like this just need to be seeing sign up page like this okay so this is your sign up page and let's say if you don't want your sign up page you can call login page instead call login page instead you can see here right now you're able to see your login page this is your login page. okay right now we have already separated our login page from the sign up page and also we happen to have a general page called app.jsx where we can actually call whatever we want so right now the next thing we should be doing is that let's say if i have don't have an act i already have an account which is my sign up page here let me let me go to my sign up page let's say i already have an account here so i would like to log in directly from a sign up page here. so whenever when i click on for example let's say if i go to a sign up page here i must be able to have like a button that says already have an account and you can just directly say login okay something like this so as you can see here right now you must be able to click on login page and directly you're able to go to login page here. so right now we don't happen to have the routing process going on in our local project okay and the next thing we should do we need to include the routing the routing workflow as well and before before moving on to login let's add routing process as well let's go back our code here and open our terminal stop this terminal for a while and in this case i would like to install npm i react router dom and click enter and there you go react router dom has successfully installed the next thing is we need to check whether 
it has already been installed let's go to package.json and you're able to see react router tom has already been installed in your package.json and this is how you're able to check whether you have already successfully installed this and right now we were we are able to make use of this routing function where we're able to go from one page to another page upon clicking a particular link or a button uh, first of all we need to be going to our main.jsx first and in this case we need to be importing browser router first so in this case the next first thing is import this is browser router and browser router is coming from react router dom something like this so this is how you're able to you'll be calling this browser router first and the next thing is that we need to we need to make sure that we, we wrap this app component here with browser router component so we need to copy browser router and we need to be placing this particular component called browser router and we need to make it like a component with its closing component and we need to be copying this app component here and we need to be pasting like this and let's click save and the next thing we should do is let's go back to our app.jsx here and inside of app.js is where we'll be able to set the link the url and we can based on the url you're able to directly route to a particular page and that's what i'll be doing here so in this case i like to import routes and route as well only these two things here and this two also coming from react router dom as well so as you can see here now right now we're able to make use of, of this dependency called routes and route so first of all let's say we need to be having our route component here we need to be saying routes okay routes like this and inside our routes we must be able to have route the first route okay the first route should be like this and the first route is happens to be a self-closing tag like this and inside this route component here we need to be having path just like this path in this particular route here we'll be able to direct us to a particular page upon having this particular path here so in this case i have to say the path to be like a default path like this and whenever when the page loads this is how your path will look like and this path will be having a particular element so in this case i like to copy this particular sign up component and i like to paste it right inside this element here something like this so this is how you're able to make use of browser routers these two extension called routes and route and let's click save and we need to be making sure that we run this particular server npm run dev and there you go right now in your browser here as you can see here when you have no other url in your default url you'll be able to come to this particular page here this is what this is your sign up page and and of course let's say if i were to change the url for example let's say login and there you go i mean that's not i mean we have not said anything here and that's the reason why it's showing empty page here so if i would remove this any of this particular url and uh, it's going to be a blank url let's say but just like this and yeah it just goes to the sign up page and and this is how it's supposed to work the next thing is that let's create another route so in this case i like to create another route here and this particular route will be having login something like this and this particular element will be having login here as well so this is how i like to do. so like to click save let's go back to our browser and as you can see here let's let's say if i were to edit this particular uh, url so it's going to be like slash login and click enter and there you go right now you are able to go to your login page upon changing your url and this is how you're able to make use of browser router and of course i like to have login page to be the one that comes first i like to place it here and i like to have the login page to come by default i like to like to make this to be the one that comes as default like this but only when we click on the sign up page i like to go to this particular page called sign up something like this let's, let's, let's click save and as you can see here right now i mean you don't have this particular url here so it's just like a blank url and let's click enter a blank url you will go to your login and if i were to go to, to my sign up page you just need to need to enter sign up like this and then you'll be able to go to your sign up page like this and this is how you're able to make use of react router dom to actually go between pages and let's say if i were to click i must be able to click on this particular login url hyperlink here so that i'll be able to directly go to my login page okay so i like to i like to do that first so inside my sign up page here I happen to have a hyperlink called a login here so i mean i would like to have this particular login to become a hyperlink here so first of all i must use a link like this i mean this particular link particular link component like this closing as well you need to place this inside here and this particular link will also be having of course you need to be you need to be importing this because this is, this is coming from uh react router dump so you need to import this by the way do not forget to import and once you have imported link you are able to make use of this so this link will be the one that able to change the url based on what you set for example in this case i like to set this two to to go to to this default to, to this empty url so let's click save let's go back to our browser and there you go right now you happen to have a hyperlink so whenever when you click on login like this and then you are able to go to your login page here. and this is the simplest way to actually make use of react router dom to your project and let's 
and the next video i would like to walk you through on how to set up this login page as well and people can actually directly lock themselves inside their account and then they're able to go to their home page they will be able to have, happen to have like their own account for themselves so that's the end of this part of the video let thanks for watching till the end and until the next video thanks for watching